Hey everybody, BJ here. Alright, a bunch of buddies going on a camping trip trip this weekend and makes me want to go. But made me get at some of my stoves and start looking at them. Uh, going through them, different things. And I just figured I'd put together just a, I'm going to say a small video, but there's a lot of stoves here. So it might go a little past what I think it might. So if it does, I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. <laughs> If you hear anything in the background, it's uh, <laughs> my family standing there. But, uh, I ain't got a lot of space, so I'm just going to run down through these. And most of these, I'll go through down to from my least favorite to my favorite. Uh, and a lot of the way, I pulled out the scales because I know some people are going to want to know what they weigh. And to be honest, I don't even know. <clears throat> I'll start with this one because this is probably my least favorite. <laughs> And uh, this is one of those, uh, you take it out and pull it. And I actually darkened mine up. So they it go together. It's a wood burning stove. And it, it's efficient, but I made a, out of an old stainless steel cup. I took the crown part off of the thing. I just, it's too hard to get wood down in it. So I made it to where I could put a little more wood easily. And of course I've got, you can't just sit a pot on there unless it's a big one. Like, you know, one of these right here, which I could take. Probably ought to take that off beforehand, just to show. But that's a used pot. <laughs> but so you don't even, that's a one liter tote. So then you got to put some little crossbars across it. I had to make it. Now, if you buy it like it is, you wouldn't have to do that. But like I say, keep in mind, it's hard to feed uh, wood in it. But this one. That is 13.5 ounces, so that's, that's quite heavy. It's not quite a pound, but it's, it's pretty heavy uh, for what it does. I mean, you can't, no fuel or anything like that, so you don't have to carry none of that, but you're going to be burning wood, so depending on where you're at, whether or not you can actually burn wood, depending on time of year, if they have fire bands, stuff like that. But to me, that's just bulky. Like I said, uh, it wouldn't be that way if uh, you didn't doctor it up like I did. I can get that thing back in there. But, uh, and I mean, it's fairly compact once it breaks down. So, but it's still pretty good size. But it's, to me, that's heavy. I'm gonna set that one off to the side. Another one that I see a lot is this uh, Lixada. Now this is a good stove. Of course, you gotta have the crossbars too. I've got them in my uh, box over here, so you'd have to add that weight to it. I got another video <clears throat> on here. I won't take this apart to show you how it works because I have a video that shows just this stove and the modification that I've done to it to make it a little easier to put together because it can be kind of finicky to put together. They've made it pretty good. I mean, I will take it apart here. If I'm gonna do it with a see, I mean, you gotta make sure you're holding on to stuff. I made it where you I don't have to hold on to this part, so that way, and it all folds out. So then you just fold it back together. Now, this one it comes with a plate that you can do. Uh, and I mean, as you see me putting this together, this is how I put it together in the field, too. It takes a <laughs> it takes a second. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, pretty good stove for the money. This one's 13.9, so really comparable to that one down there. <clears throat> Actually, a little heavier, but in my opinion, a lot easier to put together than this one, uh, the way I have it. Now, the way it comes, it's really simple to put together, so, but it's bulky. This one packs down really thin. Uh, be hard enough to make this video kind of long, wouldn't it? <laughs> but like this, I mean, this one packs down. This would fit in your pack a lot better than that other one. You can slide it in this little, it comes with a little pouch and put it in there. With the pouch, and put it in there and see. That's going to add a little bit of weight. And I've got the 
the top pieces and stuff in there that go across the top. That makes it one pound, 1.2 ounce. To me, that's a heavy stove for backpacking. Uh, now for a bug out bag or something, or if you wanted, you know, didn't want to keep a lot of fuel in your bug out bag or something like that, I just wanted a little, cause it's efficient. You put little twigs in it, and man, you can cook. Uh, so like that one. Uh, now this is one of my favorite I got a uh, canteen cup, and I like this one because when you're cooking ramen noodles, you don't have to crush them up. You just stick it in there, and you can put two of them in there side by side if you're really hungry. Uh, and that one comes, this is a stove off of a, uh, a USGI model, but it fits on this one. So this is an all-in-one kit, just like that. So this, this stove, I wouldn't carry unless I had this stuff. And this is, like I say, it's a little heavy though. Especially if you put the lid. I don't ever take the lid because the lid's really heavy. This is nine ounces. The lid is 2.2 ounces. So, I mean, if you do it all together, 11.1 ounces. Yeah, 11.1 ounces. I'll leave that home. <laughs> And I'll just cook it like that because it works good like that. But uh, I'm gonna get that back together. Okay. But the way this one works is you just some people put their cup on there the same, and that kind of smothers it out. This, like I said, this one isn't really made for this. The, the USGI canteen fits on it a little better, so I turn it around to where it's backwards like that. And with that, I'll use. Like these Coleman fuel tabs, you can just slide them under there. You might need, uh, you know, something like a piece of foil or something, a good piece of foil, to lay this on and burn. This would be just for like heating water. You ain't really gonna cook no big meals with it unless you got a bunch of these. But as you get up, this is only two of them in a peel bottle. So I mean, that's uh, one ounce exactly. That's probably why I've only got two in there. That's probably like a day hike type thing. So with that, what I like to use with this, and this is, I'll go ahead and getting into it. This is my uh, homemade stove. It's made out of a pellet tin, and I have old, old pellets in it, and then some carbon felt just cut and wrapped in there. And I'll use uh, heat or alcohol and uh, use that. But that you stick straight over top of that and heat your water like that and boil. Uh, yeah. So that's just one. Sorry about that. My wife was needing me to do something, so I had to do it. <laughs> you know how that is, probably. All right. But anyway, I think I was down to this one. Uh, and another alcohol stove. I think I'm about to shoot the camera. Uh, this is a do-it-yourself stove also a cat fan or see what is it they call these uh, uh, anyway it's like a cat fan cat can stove i think that's what they call it i don't know why i couldn't remember that it's a soup can or a tomato paste can cat food can and carbon felt around the top i got another video of this burning too comparatively in these two uh, and this, this one, this fits down in it. Everything goes down. This is just a set it and light it, and everything sits on top of it. You don't have to carry nothing extra except for fuel. The only thing I don't like about this one is I have to use one ounce of fuel to make this one work. So if I just want to heat something up or you know something like that. I'd be wasting fuel because there's no way to get fuel out of here and it'll eventually evaporate, evaporate, evaporate. Uh, so uh, this is a good little stove and it works for boiling water. But like I say, if you have to use one ounce of fuel. So that one stays home a lot. That's where this one, see this one, I can actually put fuel in it. It'll soak it up 
I can heat up whatever I'm wanting and then I can snuff it out with this and I've left this in here for days before uh, just like this and I can still just come back take lid off of it and light it uh, so then so I can manage my fuel just a little bit better with this one plus I'll show you this one cat this is well known for being lightweight a lot of AT hikers and stuff use this because it is one ounce exactly and that's all there is to it so three ounces of fuel if you're going for you know a couple of days more days more meals more fuel uh, that's where your weight's going to come in on this one uh, they're good for day hikes if you just want one in case you want to heat up some coffee make some ramen noodles something like that this is good uh, like i say this one stays home i'll take this one here but with this one you've got to have some kind of stand Get in get the camera. Right. That's where like that little stand tripod stand I made comes in. So you've got to carry this and this. And probably some kind of windshield, which I don't have one here. That's 2.2 ounces for that. And I got another video on how to make this. It's just made out of some hanging wire and a couple of little uh metal tubes that I've put on it and bent it. Uh, I got a whole video on that. The next one on the heavy side, and this is one I absolutely love this stuff. Uh, but it is not to me a backpacking stove for just a couple of days. It's just too heavy. But this one is the uh, Whisper Light, the MSR Whisper Light. Beautiful flame. I have it set up now to use the, uh, the canister, but you can take this off and put this on, and then you can use it uh, with your pump. And I have a Primus uh, pump that I like better. I got another video on this uh, that shows the difference in these two. This one's more lightweight. This one is way more uh, efficient and easier to adjust for simmer and stuff like that, but it's, it's a lot heavier. Uh, this one's five ounces on its own, where this one is 2.3. So to me, is it worth taking this one over this? Probably because I'm not gonna carry this stove in my backpack. If you was gonna carry this in your backpack, then I'd probably say stay with this one because you can still cook on it good. Uh, to me, this is more of a uh, canoeing, kayaking, car camping type thing or you don't want to carry like a big combing stove you know what i mean uh, beautiful stove absolutely well made uh, it all folds down like this and then it tucks away it goes in its bag so you'd have this this then if you're going to carry enough fuel you got different options you got a big bottle little bottle uh, let's see the little bottle is 4.6 ounces big bottle 6.9 ounces and then this is empty so this one holds 20 ounces i think this is 11 yeah, 11 ounces uh, so you start doing the math so even with the one that comes with it i ain't gonna do the promise because not everybody has that one but on top of that with this one you need to carry a tool kit because if you want to change from this to a canister you would carry this then you would carry this in here i just dropped my point you carry that and then you got little o-rings and all the jets that you change out because you got to change out the jets inside of here for different fuels so depending on if you're going to use gas kerosene uh, isopropyl or uh, white fuel you got to change these out kind of i got another video that shows that i can use uh, this one here with the white fuel jet. So I use it and I don't have to change out the jet. But you still gotta have this tool if you wanna go to it because you gotta take this end off. So some type of tool uh, to take with you. So just to say, if you was gonna carry everything, let's see if I can. So this, the tool, the o rings, the jets, we'll put it all on there oh, and then because you can't put a cup 
like a 750 millimeter cup on top of this one I made this little thing that goes on top of it so that way I can put a little cup on top of it but anyway I don't know if I can get all this on there we'll see what happens I'll sit it like that one pound 2.4 ounces no fuel add that and it's one point one pound 2.9 so my opinion you start getting up into a pound without fuel on any stove you're getting heavy my opinion of course so I mean, most people will load down i'll fix that later but we'll take that get that one out of the way absolutely love that stove though it is uh, versatile to me that would be a definite bug out uh, stove because you can burn kerosene you can burn gasoline uh, white fuel isopropylene like the canisters uh, can't really do alcohol uh, people have made modifications to do it and try it but it's really dangerous with this for some reason I guess this where this is really really high uh, burn content most people say next to gasoline but yeah gasoline and kerosene I've done it it'll turn everything you got jet black <laughs> the soot that comes off of that thing uh, that's why I like the isopropylene on it because it burns clean uh, and if I'm gonna add that kind of weight I can take one of these or I can take one of these uh, these big canisters here and uh, use it so love that stove though I have nothing bad to say about it other than its weight and bulkiness because you're gonna have that that you're gonna have that in your pack separately if you carry it back but it's gonna be in its own container <laughs> it don't fit in many uh, cook pots unless it's like a big push pot bush pot or something uh, now these right here this is what I started with which is one of the little they got so many different models of these. I think I gave like 11, 8 or $11. I can't remember. It might have been $11. Uh, it's one of them little Chinese made uh, isopropylene stoves. Good little stove. Little jet stove. It, it's, it works really well. But that led me to want something just a little bit nicer. Up here we got NOC. I went up there and got the Snow Peak titanium cup and stove set. And uh, this one I like it because it had this is the uh, Snow Peak Giga Giga Stove or something like that. Yeah, I think it's a Giga Giga Stove. I got another video between it and this one here, but uh, this is a good little stove. Uh, comparatively to the others, the only thing I don't like about this stove, well, let's say what I do like about it. I love the fact that it has four prongs instead of three makes it really stable for even a small cup this is a big one uh, or bigger one but man it don't i mean when it's on there it's on there but putting them back together you got to get it there's a trick and you got to get them just right so you'll fiddle with it a time or two to get it just right so once it goes up it's like this uh, just for when the thing went off Three point eight ounces. Uh, hold on, my wife's coming back here. I think uh, I'll be back here in just a minute and leave back on that because I'm sure she wants to talk to me. So I'll be back in just a minute. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Sorry, busy around here today. <laughs> hmm. Hey, lot, lot going on. Lot going on. It's robust though. I mean, this thing it'd be hard to break this. I'm sure you could if you like stepped on it or something real bad, but I mean, uh, I love this stove. I used this one for quite a while. Uh, one thing I didn't like about it though, and you can see how it has these little fins that go around, the, the flame comes up out of it uh, in such a way. see that pretty flame and when it's on the bottom of a cup it's even better uh, 
I don't want to get that too hot while I'm handling it. That's probably already hot enough. But I got another video that shows kind of what I'm talking about is the wind. Even in like a slight breeze with this one, the wind really moves this flame. So it takes, makes you use a lot of full fuel to heat your water and stuff. Uh, and most of these to me, you know, aren't real cooking stoves. This one would probably be the better one, I think, for like a cooking uh, fish or something, frying fish or something, because it does put such a nice little uh, flame underneath it. It's not so direct, like say like this one. Uh, this one right here, you'd burn, <laughs> you'd burn some fish, I promise. Cause it's like a straight, uh, it's like a torch. And that one, you can tell that chat, you hear that tsh, yeah. I don't think any of the other ones really do that. See how this one, it's like a torch. It goes straight up, there's no in and out on the flame. Uh, and it'll do it again. See, you waste a little bit of fuel with these, these time. I don't know what they've done to the inside that uh, doesn't make it seal up like it should. Because the O-ring and everything's in there. It's always done that since I've had it. But anyway, back to this one. The reason I don't like it is the wind. The, the wind affects the flame, makes it take a little longer. I've done a comparison video in between these two. A little video, not real scientific or nothing, but enough to kind of show. Uh, so that right there, it's one of my favorite stoves as far as that. I don't use it as much anymore because I got this. This has been, hands down, my favorite stove so far that I have. This is the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. MSR makes some really nice stoves. I love, love MSR stoves. They do a good job on a lot of stuff too, cooking pots and stuff like that. Uh, but you can see how this one, it looks a little bigger, uh, which it is. I mean, comparatively, like if you was to fold this one back up and you've got them your that head's gonna be just a little bit bigger you know not much but it is but it still fits in my cup with the little the small canister uh, but this one I have tested this one in really cold see how that don't make a noise like the Chinese you know? uh, and it's got like these little these like fold down like that so you just kind of start rotating them up and out. So then you've got these three. And it's pretty stable. Like I say, this one's better than this one. This one's got four on it, but it's so small. The cup slides around on it a little bit. This one bites it just a little bit better the way it sits. And I'm kind of rambling on these, but these are my most used stoves. Uh, between this one here and i didn't even show this one i have to show that that's a trangia it's a nice stove but it's heavy i'll just put it in here while i'm in it so i don't make a thing because i ain't going back to it 3.9 uh but this one you can keep fuel in it you can just put your fuel in this one uh carry your fuel in here if you want i think it was like two ounces so if you're going on a day hike or something you just put your fuel in there and got it that's all you need Except for you got to have something over top of it to sit your pot on. I ain't going to go into a lot on that one. But that's a nice. A lot of people have transies and I like them. Uh, I modified this one a little bit with some wire. Uh, but nice stoves. But back to this. Like I said, I get down to my favorites. This is my homemade alcohol stove. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's lightweight. I can carry three ounces of fuel. This is my day hiking. I can put this in. That's what I carry. That's it. Don't need anything else except for the little stand and maybe a windshield to go with it to keep the wind from blowing it. So I'm afraid it's not, not too heavy. But this is my favorite. And I'll keep saying it. This is my favorite. I love this stove. <laughs> it's a, just the way it is. It's, they built it really well. Uh, it's not as heavy as that one. Let me put it on here. That one gave a little there. Not as bad as the other one though. 2.9.
3.9, so 3.8 ounce difference. But it's got the little uh, piezo knot igniter. But this one, even at a simmer, see, it's like a torch, too. I don't know if you can see it. You can get it way up there, man. This thing will freaking cool. I don't want to aim it at the camera. Look at that. And it, you see how it's all in there? You can simmer. You can put this thing down. As long as the wind ain't blowing too bad, you can simmer with it really good. This little thing they got, it's a windshield. Blew it out that time. But, when it's up like this, That's a direct. I'm trying to. You have like a cross. I'm gonna quit blowing because I'm gonna make myself dizzy. <laughs> Absolutely. And if you got it up to burn, it'd take a lot of wind. And I've done it, and it's really fuel efficient. I've went through so many canisters of these comparing these two just to see which one I was getting better fuel this one always hands down came out on top I could save so much more fuel with it wasn't as heavy really stable I can simmer with it I can fry fish so like if you simmer if you try to simmer with this one right here it's so low down the uh, the flame doesn't hardly even get to the bottom of the the pan uh, so it take you a while so you're burning fuel that you're not using this one yeah. so ain't got nothing in on MSR but man they make some nice stuff I love this this is the pocket rocket deluxe ever since I've got it I've enjoyed this stove so much uh, packs down really little of course this thing's gonna be hot of course now this one like I say it's doing the little thing too but nowhere near as bad as this one but you'll get that with some I guess I ain't going to necessarily say it's because that one's cheaper because they all <laughs> all tend to do it. The Giga, this one's better at it. This one don't psh, at all. Uh, this one don't go on, but for some reason it does go off. But there's a little valve in here, so it might be something to do that too because, see, this one's made, most of these, like this one in cold weather, like 20 degrees, it does not burn good at all. Uh, but the colder you get these canisters, the, you know, less efficient your flame's gonna be. Whatever they've done to this valve, that's what they advertised when I bought it. It's something in there and it works. Uh, when this one is low temperature, uh, which is why a lot of people use the white stove because, or the white gas, because when it's cold, these right here, these work uh, when it's really cold. So I've prepared like this one and this one. I have no problems using this when it's cold. Now, we don't get, like, really, really cold weather, and I'm not way up on top of, a, you know, Mount Everest or nothing like that. So, altitude and all that stuff would affect your canisters. Uh, but I won't go into that a whole, whole lot just because, because I already have. <laughs> but, hands down, this is my favorite stove right here. I absolutely love it. I like the design of it. And I could go on about it because it's sleek. It's got that nice little black powder coat on the bottom it's got that beautiful flame that comes out of the top everything folds up nice uh, I think you gotta like turn that off a notch and all that just folds right up whoops sorry about that and I usually wrap it in a towel but it'll fit right in just like that and you can put stuff on the side of it so that's my top stove right there and going through them, I'm going to quit because, I mean, I could make this video, like, super, super long. Uh, trying to burn everything and do it, and I might blow myself up. Uh, so I might do some of these by themselves on my channel just to kind of show you the differences. Uh, maybe cook some ramen noodles or something one day, or even if I get a chance to go uh, on a day hike or something, show you how I use 
uh, this one out in the field. It's funny because when I go hiking, I don't think about recording stuff. And uh, I need to start because I know that's what a lot of people are looking for. So I need to start doing that a little bit more. Uh, but anyway, these two right here, that's my two. If I want a really lightweight, good. If I'm going on a uh, overnight, two, three, four, or five, I would take this right here. If I'm going with a lot of people, and we're going to be on uh, kayaks or canoes, or I got to feed four people, uh, I'm going to carry the fuel and I'm going to carry the stove. Uh, they can carry, shift the weight for something else. They can carry the pots or whatever, the food, whatever. Uh, we'll divvy it up. And that's where this one. So that's my three favorite and all. That's my number one top favorite right there. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Y'all have a good day. Get outside and enjoy this uh, weather here. I'm going to try to make a few more videos. I hadn't done it in a while, so I'm going to try to get back on track and do this a little bit more i don't just do camping stuff uh i do a little bit of everything i am a all around i got a lot of hobbies <laughs> but y'all have a good day enjoy